All right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the WMAP, the We Might Argue podcast. My name is Ben. That is Jaw. And that messy living room or whatever that is, is uh, Tariq. Yo, Alex looks weird in those photos right now, bro. From a distance, those yeah. pom-poms were not working. The what was it working? The pom-poms. <laughs> yeah, no, pom-poms the the, the black pigtails. Yep. How do y'all feel about pigtails? I mean, no, that's not really. I I just don't think they fit on an adult head. Why are you laughing, bro? Come on, let me right away. Um, what is something you were surprisingly bad at? Basketball. I feel like ass today. Complete shit. Um, past couple days, not been my best basketball days, but honestly. Something that I'm surprisingly bad at. I don't know. Come back to me. Come back to me. I, I got to think about this. How about you, three? You got anything, man? Something you're surprisingly bad at? Um. Huh. Not sure. Like, that's a good question. I've never really been asked that. Okay. I, I, I got something for both of y'all. Okay, go ahead. Jaw is surprisingly bad at communicating. That's not surprising. No, it's very surprising. Especially, like, now that we've addressed it and it's still just as bad, it's just really surprising <laughs> that you're keeping it up. It's almost like you're doing it on purpose. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> And with Tariq, um, he is surprisingly bad at being on time. Um, I don't know what was up with that. You were supposed to be here like 20 minutes ago, bro. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is true. Because I'm late for work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we would have never known. <laughs> yeah. But we would have never known that. Never. I, I used to I used to leave work maybe an hour before going in, but ever since they changed the my shift from two to ten thirty before, and it was eleven thirty to eight now, um, I started leaving a half an hour early because it's the better driving times are at, a, are at around noon, and I get to work in like twenty to thirty minutes, so I kind of just leave a, a half an hour before. But before, because of 2 o'clock, I used to leave an hour, which gave me enough time to get to work, and I was fine. Mm. But I am starting back 2 to 10.30 this week, and I guess for the foreseeable future. So now I'll start to leave an hour before, but I'll probably be even earlier because I have to go to the gym in the morning. So that's my little thing. But, yeah, that's a good one, Ben. I, I do agree. All right, well, I got you all. So instead of... um. Instead of me making one up for myself, how about how about y'all? You know, since we're constantly around each other, we're constantly, I don't know, observing each other. Possibly, y'all got some for me. Y'all got some for little low me. Um, what's been bad at? Absolutely nothing. I hear that, my brother. <laughs> uh, bad at communication. Uh, oh, when we're playing video games, bad at bad at communication. We're playing video games. How? Okay. <laughs> How is that possible? It, but the wording is not there. Hey, I think you're wording that wrong. He's he's surprisingly bad at being friendly. If that's how you want to put it, <laughs> bad at being friendly. Yeah, it it doesn't really come off and roll off the tongue good, but. Okay. Bad at delivering, bad at delivering messages when you're playing video games. Is not just communication. What do you mean by that? What do you mean bad at delivering messages? What do you mean by that? Instead of like being like, "Yo, Brandon." Oh, oh he's bad at um. Let's get um. What's the freaking words? Two words. He's bad at something criticism. What is it? Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism. That's not, there you go. No, I'm not. 
absolutely terrible. How Yo, am Brian I bad will, like, at it? Brian will make a bad pass, and all you hear in the mic is... <laughs> it's heavy breathing. Okay, first and of all... Time, first of time, all... Do you? Yo, come on, man. <laughs> okay, and you know what? I'm just gonna go on, like, yell. You know how I'm going to shut this all down, man? This is how I'm going to shut it all down, right? We, all of us, have been playing this game, 2K, uh, uh, NBA 2K, for a very long time, man. I'm not going to lie. It's probably been, like, a solid 8, 9, 10 years we've been playing 2K. Maybe even longer. Maybe, like, 12. How are you guys still so bad? I play the most boring position. I make builds that literally just complement everyone else because everyone else wants to have fun, bro. You feel me? Why did my camera just do that? So it's like, it's not, you know, after all this time, you'd think you guys would get better a little bit. But it's okay because we're not playing the game anymore. Or at least I'm not playing the game anymore. So it's whatever, bro. I understand what you're trying to say. Um, but with 2K, the sometimes the I the IQ logic that we use in real life basketball doesn't apply to 2K. And that's and fine. For me, and for me personally, like with all the ins and outs of 2K, I just don't take it that serious because I don't plan on it's not like there's a ranking system in 2K where we can really like where we can try and actually think as a team and get to like rank one like with FIFA, for example. Pro clubs, pro clubs, pro clubs. Pro clubs, there's it's it I, I feel more inclined to be competitive with FIFA because of a ranking system. So we're like just like Gears, for example, we're trying to get to Onyx or whatever whatever. 2K, I know for a fact we're just not good enough to go and freaking play freaking Pro Am and versus a full 5v5 because 2K's gameplay is just so I don't know if it's just because it's less players on a on, on a court or a field. But and then you have like the, the the gameplay and the glitches and the exploits and stuff that I feel on FIFA and other games like shooting games, they're not as bold and out there. But two K, there's so like just like the defending. There's so many variables that it's just hard to think. FIFA has its own thing with the whole like momentum and all that. But just for me on two K, I just there's so much to deal with on that court that I personally just can't do it. But I, that doesn't take away that the game is still fun, though, at certain times. Okay, so listen. I just want to address that one game that sort of... You the know, 3v5. I just want to address the one game we played. I, I, we don't have to talk about this after. Anyway, Yo, all I can see is Street's mouth. It's so funny. The full me? No, it's just because I'm on my phone. So, like, oh. the, the full screen cuts off on... Oh. Oh, you're your, your, just your mouth. <laughs> no, back to the side. I'm gonna start again. Okay, listen, so we're just going to talk about the 3v5, and then we don't have to talk about this anymore, okay? The one where we lost um, and, and started everything. I, I want to say the week before, we had games where I'm literally coaching Jaw and Mark and brandon on how to move when to move what to do whatever right uh-huh. and i'm thinking at least from that time they may have learned something so when we when we play a 3v5 and we're aware of you know all this knowledge i don't fucking know you would why did my xbox just turn on what the fuck is going on in here and you would think that like you know they would just they would just play like the week before, you know. I would think, but no, no one says anything. We just start losing, and it's like, why am I even here if like I've been coaching these guys for weeks, whatever, quote unquote coaching, and these niggas don't like apply it in a game where I don't feel like talking. Like why is that? Why is it so hard? Why do I have to be the coach every game? You know what I mean? So like, that's just me, bro. To be honest. Yeah. So I, like, I, 
You know, I'm I'm just some power forward, bro. I'm just some corner hash sitter trying to coach everyone how to play positions I will never play. Like what? So yeah, you know. And you're good at power forward. You don't want to play any other position. Well, nigga, I made I made a build. I'm not gonna start over making. I don't have the time to make another build and play that shit. We could switch no, accounts. I'm... Jaw. We could switch accounts. <laughs> but then you're not gonna have fun. No, so, no, like, no. What's the point of that? But what? But but what? Like, what is your ideal two K player? Like, what do you want to be? Like, what do, what position do you want to play? Point okay, guard. Listen, listen, listen. For the past two years, I've just wanted to make like a, a a pure defense player that can somewhat shoot, maybe dunk. Who fucking knows? I feel like that's what I have now. But the only problem is watching you all play. That's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem you guys don't have eyes to pass it to me when i'm wide open you guys can't recognize xyz and like you know it just is what it is so it's like i just don't want to be part of it anymore so you know <laughs> say love you i hope you guys end up playing other games like fifa and whatever finally now that i'm not playing anymore i don't know why it's gonna take me quitting 2k for you guys to finally play the games but i'm just saying bro i hope I'm you guys do that location for 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 years now. Mm-hmm. Oh. And like, true. honestly, also, at the same time, I was going through stuff last week. So, my fault. However, I, you know, I'm, I'm just done with it, you know? I'm, I'm set. I'm dead set on whatever I, I made up uh, my mind at the time. And I'm not reverting it. Because fuck you. I was really hoping Hogwarts was freaking multiplayer. Not gonna lie. Are you having fun playing that game, man? I mean, yeah, but I kind of don't wanna. I'm taking it slow because I know personally I'd rush through it, do everything like the what's called like the side missions and the main missions and all the quests and stuff, and it'll burn me out because there's a lot to explore. So I'm just trying to take it slow. There's bare side missions. Like there's so much shit. I heard the game's like 50 hours or something. Yeah. I think what was Cyberpunk sixty, um, something like that. But I mean, it was like I think it was thirty story mode missions, and then it was like uh, like thirty hours story mode, and it was like a hundred hours to for a hundred percent or some shit like that. Yeah, it's crazy. But they yeah, need- yeah during COVID, I fucking a hundred percent of that shit, bro. There's a lot of side quests in that game, yeah. and words. Mm-hmm. There's there's too many. Oh, you're playing that shit too, draw? Yeah, my girlfriend's a big Harry Potter fan, so we got the game. What's your uh, yeah. What's your house? She's a Slytherin. Uh, we just use her, her her character. She's a Slytherin. That makes sense. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ambition. Oh. Yeah, she didn't hear that, right? No. Oh, oh she's dust. Fantastic. So I was gonna sense. say I was gonna say that no matter. What. <laughs> Wait, so you that's don't have like, like your own save? Uh, no, I'm going to though. I'm gonna make one. Oh yeah, are you I'm sure about one. that? I am. <laughs> Just I kind of want to beat the game. Like I want her to beat the game first because, um, when I start playing, I'm gonna like blow through it, <laughs> and then she's gonna be like, "Oh, you beat the game without me?" Like I. I'm just gonna oh, but wait. If you, but if, but if you beat the game, mm-hmm. yeah, you know what I mean. It's just one of those things. Like I just, I just rather not. Just, I just wait. Heard you. Yeah. Heard you. Um. Let's see. I hate this because I don't, I don't like when I lead the pod. I like when there's an itinerary, and things like are just going, but like, and then maybe I can just my ADD can kick in and I could say some random bullshit but we don't have anything man this is rough there hasn't been anything interesting that's happened the past couple of weeks sure there is hey Tariq what is it like for you now that your girlfriend is over in the Philippines for like two three weeks how what is that like man I mean it's a little bit easier to uh huh? get through oh <laughs> what no no finish what you're saying oh no I was saying it's a little bit easier to get through because I'm used to being long distance with her already. Mm, oh yeah. 
I mean, I only get to see her really once or twice a month because she's in yeah. True. So, but I do like still talk to her over there. Like, even though she's there right now, I still um like I told her to get like a WhatsApp uh, account so we can FaceTime her there. Cause sometimes the connection is not great, or she can get uh, FaceTime me when she has Wi-Fi, or she'll text me when she gets service. But I mean, she's she's good over there. But it's um, you know, it's just this, you know, the S stuff we can't really do because she's so far. So mm-hmm. that's about. Yeah, that's definitely something <laughs> to bring up. <laughs> Very uh, important. Yep. That's the important part. That's the priority. Yep. <laughs> Wait, I said that. I said that last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just had to squeeze it in there. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, uh, do you guys, or, well, I, I guess, John, do you think that, um, oh, wait, you've technically done long distance? Technically? Oh. Uh, it was like four yeah, hours, but, but still, I guess, yeah. Yeah, my, um, my ex went to, to Ottawa for a long time when I was here, and then most, most recently I went to Ottawa with my current girlfriend, and uh, she stayed home, so um it's not fun man shit is tough i'm not gonna lie mm. just because you you don't get the um you don't get the benefits of the uh of the right relationship for the most part but you still have all the um like drawbacks i guess yeah so well it kind of it kind of flips the uh it kind of flips the whole uh beneficial part of being in a relationship because like, if you're single, then you can do whatever you like to do, um, and that doesn't just mean like uh, fucking girls and, and talking to whoever you want to talk to. That's part of it, but also like there isn't uh, a responsibility to like communicate with someone every day. Like you have to be there for them. You have to find ways to be there for them over uh, you know a long distance. Yeah. <clears throat> but then like the but then you're not actually there so the benefits aren't the same so uh it prompts the people who can do it i've only had to do it for like four months at a time but that couldn't be like the entire relationship for me yeah i, I don't see the it doesn't really make sense when you weigh the pros and cons over you know years doesn't make sense in my opinion well see this is the thing i've seen tiktoks about oh you know like for example like how one partner lives in let's say new york and like the other lives in freaking like virginia or something and they gotta actually take a to see them what that's crazy or drive it's crazy well, that's, that's crazy. My friend's doing one right now. She, her man's in Ecuador and she's here. It's been there for the past, like two years. Ecuador. Yeah. And I, I'm a guy. Like I, I need to be, uh, I need to be touched. Like I need my cuddles. I need my head rubs. Yeah. Like, I, like, I, like I need that. Oh, like, so... Would you guys say you're spontaneous? Actually, it depends. I'm not really daring like that, so. Okay, well, like when I when I say spontaneous, like what what, what comes to mind for you? Like, you just do stuff. Like, just you just have a a, th- a thought in your head, you just do it. Like, hmm. So, like, you normally just plan shit out. Yeah, like like. Well, you do without a plan. Like it can be some random thing. But you may not know like what it entails. Like you just do it, mm-hmm. kind of like, oh, kind of like on the borderline between like impu- being impulsive. Yeah. Spontaneous. Oh. Uh... But for me, I would say I, I like sometimes I'm spontaneous, like, like sexually. But outside of that, 
not really anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a freak. Um, I, I'm spontaneous when I have money. <laughs> then I'll do whatever. <laughs> I'll do whatever. Freaking last year, I didn't plan on doing anything, and then um, and then uh, my girlfriend now, who was at the time, uh, and two of my friends were like, "Hey, um, come with us to Cali." Uh, I'm like, "Oh, all right, I'll go, sure." Um, so when it comes to traveling, like, yeah, I'll definitely I'll, I'll go anywhere. Um comes to any like entrepreneurial um endeavors i'll do that too if i have the time and the time and the money to to try it out like i'll try it out whether it's shopify or day trading or affiliate marketing or whatever it is i'll do it so yeah i guess i am What did you say? Did you just say Thor? Oh, I said Gryffindor. <laughs> Wait. Gryffindor spontaneous? Is that Alex? Well, they're they're uh, daring. Yeah. They're daring. Right. Well, they're daring. The, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I just saw someone's foot move. What the hell is that? Okay. Oh, on three, on three screen? Yeah, that's Alex. Yeah, she's like sleeping. That's why there's no loud background. Type shit, type shit. Otherwise, you'd be doing this podcast outside, my brother. What are you eating, by the way? Rice and peas and chicken. Can we? Can I? Can I see it? Can we see it? This is finished, man. Oh, so you're done eating? Is what you're saying? Almost. Yo, so then what? it's not finished, asshole. Let me see the food. <laughs> you want to see what was in shit? Like, yeah, here I'll show you some Domino's I just fucked up. That was my. I have to order that later. Still. Are, are you looking? Yeah. John, you already know what's coming. Oh, fuck. And Do you see it? it? If you're reading this, you're too late. Type shit. No crust either, huh? Type shit. I don't know. Bro, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not fucking eight years old like my fucking nephews, bro. Bro, they, they be eating that shit till, till they're like right at the crust, bro. I be yeah. eating that shit too. It's fucking. He ate and left no crumbs. You said what? Then you ate and left no crumbs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. You know what's the most overrated food? Overrated? Your mother. Overrated. Sorry. Uh, um. <laughs> wait. Overrated food. Like a food that everyone likes that you don't really see the hype. Pasta. About. Pasta. Pasta. Uh huh. I don't get it, bro. Rigatoni, spaghetti, penne. Uh-huh. Alfredo sauce. Uh, oh my god, I don't get it, bro. No, nope. <laughs> Mine's gonna be a little controversial. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was expecting you to to get. I was expecting a little reaction out of you, John. To be honest. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that, that restaurant you brought us to when I got that calzone or or the the what was it? Oh, the Italian restaurant we went to for his birthday. Mm-hmm. That that was okay. That was okay. I, I liked what I had, but you know, I, no, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Like, how about one of these days, like during the summer, we go to like a A and W or a McDonald's. We just get a whole bunch of food and like eat on on the back of a tr- uh, of the trunk. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't mind that. Right? We've never done that before. We've never done that before, which is the craziest Who, thing. Who's yeah. Trying? I mean, the closest well, not thing like, we not like eat on the trunk, bro. Like, what are we talking about? We just we we put the food on there and we just chill and. No, we do that at a at a huffy, at a huffy. It's all the time. That's what I'm saying. That's the closest thing. Oh yeah, like... thanks for the invite, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> was the last time we went? It was the last time we... I went was when we went to LA Fitness and Megan, uh, popped up. When we did it, we went to uh, Hoop Dog. Wow. Oh yeah, you guys are not my friends, bro. I've been to no, the once. We asked you to come to Hoop Dome. Okay, I think you were 
But remember when you guys used to invite me to go get food after Hoop Dome? We probably did. You probably didn't. You know, we did. I think you were busy or something. Yeah. What day was this? This was on a... It was on a weekend. Hmm. You're probably... Nah, you got me. You got me there. <laughs> but in two weeks, I'm out of a job. Oh, fuck. Sure. I'm like unemployed for a bit. Damn. Yeah, yo, pesto pasta with like some fucking penne or rigatoni is crazy. I don't know. I, I like I like the green pasta. Yeah, I... The green pasta. <sighs> yeah, I don't I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I be making spaghetti hey. here sometimes, and like it kind of makes sense. But like when I go out and try other people's shit, like it's just not. It's not spaghetti. Like, spaghetti. It's spaghetti is mid. Bro. It's just bland and. Yeah. Tweak, you're lagging. Yeah, you're lagging, bro. I... Right, sort it out, nigga. Damn. Well, what am I supposed to fucking do? Uh, there you go. Okay, you're good now. So what's, yeah, what's your? What's, what's yeah? What's y'all? Over Wait, did? Huh? Hmm? I said pasta. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said pasta. For... Yeah, for me, it's controversial, but I think sushi is overrated. You see, I never liked you, bro. I never liked you. <laughs> like to me, seeing like I yeah, I am a picky eater, but I've eaten sushi every time that we've gone. But I mean, I think it's just because I don't. I'm not a fan Do of raw, ass? raw sushi. I'm like or raw fish. I'm not a fan of raw fish. So I guess it's just personally not for me. But I mean, it wasn't anything special. Like, I mean, I don't know. But it seems like every one of their moms eats that shit like even my friends at work they love sushi and i'm like i don't i just don't see the whole big thing about it bro it's not just uh, about the sushi bro it's about it has to be the right thing along <laughs> huh uh, so for me it has to know. be the right it has to be the right sushi place though like i there i've had a lot of sushi that's just been mid and that's every time I go outside of where I really like to go. So, like, I understand what you're saying. For me, it has to be at very specific places that I really, really enjoy sushi. Otherwise, yeah, it's just mid. <clears throat> I don't eat the raw stuff either. I, I, I just have, like, vegetarian sushi, like cucumber rolls or avocado rolls. I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've tried the raw fish, but not really. Yeah, kind of... Whoa, what? You like that really... shit, bro? With the vegetarian rolls, yeah, yeah, oh, you yo, crazy, that cucumber that, avocado roll is crazy. Yeah, avocado you one probably, is... you probably like the taste of your own penis. Oh god, never tried it. I heard directly. Shit, I heard avocados taste like a clean um dick. Well, I feel like I've heard that before too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we've. <laughs> I don't know who said it or you said it just now. I don't know. Is it because they don't taste like anything? Is that Not, why? Oh, well, I think it's the... I don't know if it's the taste or the texture. I forget. I haven't had avocado since, bro. I mean, technically, like I said, I don't eat avocados. And that was like the legit only time I've eaten them. It was when it was in the sushi roll. Did you like it? Yeah, it was, it was not. <laughs> the first time I tried sushi was in the mushroom. We got them. And that... Okay, you're done. but yeah. I don't really taste. The taste is like because it's the sushi roll is like there's other. You stuff know what in tastes it. like already? The avocado. Oh, all right, my fault, bro. Ben, how is it? <laughs> oh my god! I would say my my rated foods has to be rice and well, what, is, what does that even mean? Rice and cheese, bro. Rice? Bro. Just say cheese. What do you no, mean? No, no, both of them. Both oh, you mean like both. together? Bo- no, not, not together. Who eats rice and cheese? I don't know, bro. Like, who who thinks rice is overrated? Bro. I'll, rice is in everything. Exactly. <sighs> Yo, rice is an option at every single restaurant. It's actually the default everywhere you go. Okay? And I don't know why. I bet there wasn't rice at that Italian restaurant. Yeah, just, just, no. Bro, it's, it's, 
noodles are superior. That's just a fact. That's the first thing. Noodles nigga, are better. Nigga, noodles are overrated, bro. Noodles, noodles are better. <laughs> oh yeah, oh this, yeah, because he he said pasta and you're saying rice. Noodles are better, okay, and more specifically, white rice. It tastes like air. What am I eating? Oh my god! What am I? It doesn't taste like anything. It has both, no flavor at all. They're both tasteless, though. Until you add like flavor or, or like seasoning or something. So like, why even eat white rice? It has what? no flavor at all. I mean, you don't eat rice by yeah. itself. Eat it go with, go to an Italian yeah. restaurant, order a, a chicken Alfredo, hold Alfredo. And you tell me what's up, bro. Bro, okay, Alfredo's you, you, overrated. You me, I'm, I don't like. Me, white sauce. You tell me how your dry noodles. No, I don't taste, like. Bro. I don't like the white sauce. Mm-hmm. But at least, okay. And if you're talking about fried rice, okay, I like yeah. fried. Fried rice is different. I'll give you the fried rice. But white rice? What are we talking about, bro? Okay, you know what it is, man. Let's say it just has like grains of air. Let's just, just take air, add some texture to it, and that's white rice. Bruh, you never had no chicken over rice, bro. You can't. Okay, I don't know which. I don't know. You where, probably which... you probably eat rice and like proteins Wait. in separate plates. Yeah, that's probably but what not, it is. But I'm not saying it's bad. It's not bad. You don't like your food touch. It's like I'm not saying it's bad because it doesn't taste like anything. It can't be bad. It tastes like nothing. Which is my whole thing. It's overrated. Why is that the default? Is water overrated? <laughs> No, water is different. Water is different. Water is wet. <laughs> water is we're, different. We're not doing that, bro. I just feel like noodles. Oh, what water you got, by the way? Oh, uh, this is Kirkland. Damn. But, but I prefer pure life, though. What's it? <laughs> I'm a real Canadian. Yeah, Dasani. We had Dasani the other day. Oh. What? Dasani? Yeah, Dasani is a whole different breed, man. It was the only option at the Pizza Pizza, bro. They're the same class. I don't know which one first. Bro, Dasani. I haven't, I haven't had Aquafina in like years, though. That's mm. true. I don't, I don't even know. I don't think I've ever seen it in a freaking store now that I realize. Anymore. Yeah. It's uh, finally. People are, yeah, people are finally starting to catch up. Okay. I just think noodles are better. Mm-hmm. On to the next one. Cheese. It stinks. It fucking stinks, man. Why do I want to eat something that stinks? Okay, okay, listen. There are certain things that I, I completely understand. You know, pizza, okay, cool. Um, you probably name another one, but no, I'm forgetting right now. Uh, tacos. But, nope. You know, As a whole. Nachos. Burrito nope. bowl? No. Wait, what did you say? I said a burrito bowl. No, no. A quesadilla. No. Oh what? That can, that, e, e, e. On a good e. day, on a good day that can fly. On a good I've day never that can had fly. a quesadilla before. What? Really? Yeah, now I think about it. Oh, on a good day, a quesadilla can fly. But generally speaking, it doesn't taste good, and I don't understand. That I, t- I have two things with it. Firstly, how it's made, and then secondly, it stinks. I don't want to eat something that fucking smells. And you can't eat it by itself. Like, do you guys eat cheddar sticks? Like, just take a bunch of cheddars, eat it. Like the the cheese string, nonsense. I, I did. I did eat. I that. used to, but yeah, I did that. like just blocks of cheese. Like that y'all can just eat that. Nah, that shit don't feel right no more, bro. <laughs> like I, I, I mean. Do- I don't know, you, you eat it enough, like it's, it doesn't really phase you. If you stop eating it, then you don't you stop getting used to it, and then it's just like you think about it, like what, like, eh. but uh, the only I thing know. I don't want is like subs, subs. But like, let's say you eat like a like the the meatball marinara, you have to have cheese on that, I think, because then it kind of tastes like a pizza in your mouth, right? Yeah, the meatball. Mm-hmm. And, He's over it. You put avocados on it? The same way you put Parmesan. What? I'm sorry. No. No. Stop. Go ahead, bro. bro. My fault. I stopped doing that, by the way. I stopped putting Parmesan on my, on my pasta. 
What? Uh, oh, God. bro, wasn't eating it one time. Like your dad was, your dad was eating it, and he put the parmesan on the pasta, and it fucking stunk. Like when you're not eating something, sometimes it just smells vile. Mm. Like ketchup is one of those things. If you're not eating ketchup and someone's eating it beside you, it stinks. So like the 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 parmesan, like I smelt it. I'm like, oh, I'm done. That was the first one, and the second one, my ex's sister dropped a whole bunch of parmesan cheese on the floor. Instead oh. of picking it up, like the whole bottle spilled. Instead of picking it up, she got her dogs to come and lick it off the floor, and then didn't wipe it after. And the whole living room just smelled like dog and cheese. What do you mean she didn't wipe it after? They just let the dogs come and lick it up, and that was it. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Oh, the that's it for me i'm done that is really disgusting i'm Oof. done sometimes you just see something and it's just it's a wrap yeah i'm sorry but if i seen that <laughs> maybe i would have broken up with her <laughs> it, to be fair it wasn't her it was it was her sister but yeah 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 oh yeah oh okay okay, okay. yeah because i wouldn't want to go back to that house because if they just let that slide imagine what else they're sliding mm. don't even on the, on, the, on the dogs, bro. Oh, like ooh. you would play with the dog's toy. Like she would roll. She'd take her hand and like go like this with her foot on the dog's toy, and you would just see like the dog's saliva just ooze out of the toy on her foot and onto the ground. I'm yep. like, oh. Wow. Oh, that's uh. Interesting that they let that slide. I like dogs, but like, I think, I think they can just be really gross. Mm. That's just me. Would you say, okay, would you say you're more of a dog or a cat person? But I don't mean like if you like dogs or cats, would you say you are more of a, like, do you have more characteristics of a dog or a cat? Drink some dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why you said that? <laughs> He's a dog, man. I mean, I could see that, but then I look at like just like the qualities of cats. Like they're pretty like lazy, and but I would say that they're loyal. Like they're lazy but loyal. But like you kind of have to leave them by themselves, let them do their own thing, and let them come to you. But yeah. if you touch them in a certain way they might react and freaking scratch you like i don't know they're 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 i feel like they are feminine in a way mm. 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 i mean I, I think the reason why they call dogs man's best friend yeah 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 yeah, like it's, it's the same way you have police dogs. You don't have police cats, right? Mm -hmm. Even though, if we were to like go up the, it's canine unit, not feline unit. Damn, see that's a bar. <laughs> but once you get outside of domestic, like pets and domestic um, animals, then I'm giving it to the cat side. So, oh, cats are beasts. Like, you got lions, you got jaguars, you got cheetahs. Tigers. The only thing that a canine really leads up to is a wolf, and that's it. Yeah. So. That's kind of where it ends. So what's, what's your answer, Draw? I would say I'm more of a dog, but... Yeah. I could definitely... <laughs> I could... <laughs> uh... I could definitely see how uh, I could be a cat, though. You know, it's crazy. Like, not even two minutes ago, this guy's like, if you're a cat, you're gay. <laughs> I was clearly joking. <laughs> clearly joking. Because, like, I, I don't really Bro, like to... I said that shit, I was like, damn. <laughs> I was clearly I'm not joking. I was I'm not about to say that. I was obviously joking. I thought you guys, maybe you guys took it because no one answered. But, uh, 
Yeah, I'd say I'm definitely. I, I could see how I could be a cat though, because I don't really go out. If I go outside my house, it's literally because I'm going to my other house. I'm gonna go play basketball, or I'm seeing my girlfriend. That that's all I'm doing. I don't go to no clubs. I don't yeah. go to no parties. I don't go to no no mixers or pre's or social events. Yeah, and I don't really. I mean, house cats though. I don't really leave the house. Yeah. Uh, I like to be pet and rubbed and fed. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah, you can definitely see that. Mm. A dog, like, as soon as they see the door, they love to jump outside and play in the dirt. It's not me. Yeah. I mean, they're very social creatures, so. Yeah, exactly. Like, cats are really independent and, you know. The key to themselves. Yeah, very introverted. What are you, Ben? Um, I mean, I'm sure it just goes without saying, bro. I, I guess I'm a cat, bro. Yeah, I, I would kind of. Yeah. Would, like, yeah, that kind of suits you. But is, there's no point in me uh, making up a, a lie <laughs> and saying yeah. a fucking dog. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, you only bark when we're playing two kitchen. That's it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. You you only suck when we play 2K, so. He's not a cat, he's a lion. Ha ha ha. Ha ha Anyway, I don't know about y'all. I'm pretty burned out on questions, man. Y'all y'all got anything, bro? I'm really trying so hard, man. Well, I was I was just about to say, like, I was going to say, of course there's stuff that's been happening. Do you guys hear about the freaking... Um, the thing in Ohio, how that chemical plant, like, it blew up. And there's, like, a freaking... I forgot how how big the radius is of the whole attack, but everyone had to evacuate. And this... I think it was some chlorine, I think, or something like that. It was chlorine? And I think it was, like, chlorine or something. They had to evacuate what... the state? Not the state, just the city. Like, it w- it happened, like, in, like, the fields or whatever. Mm. But, you know the states have like towns and stuff so they had to evacuate the whole place and apparently they let them back and they seen like birds were dying like just various animals the fish and they said like i just seen a post on six buzz and it was saying like all that in that radius is like going with the wind and coming over to um ontario because ohio is close to the border right Mm -hmm. yeah and they're saying it's like it looks like it's um like it's over here now because of the winds and stuff, and I'm like, bro, that shit is like literal poison. The chemicals are killing all the animals. Yeah. Like they said, like the fishes were belly up in like the rivers, and it's like in the water because you could like kind of test it, and it looks like there's like a sheen, like you know when you see like the rainbow. Yeah, like, yeah. It's kind of like that, but it's not like just because of like the refractive. Um, light, uh, light spectrum and stuff. This is like because of the chemicals, and it's just like, bro. Okay, so how did this happen? Like, I think it, it was like an explosion at, at, at like a chemical plant, and um, yeah, like because of that, it released this like poisonous gas or something, and that's what there's like what? in the air, and it's being pushed like north of Ohio. So that's scary. They, bro. Yeah, they've tested like the air quality and stuff, and apparently, like it's high in like Michigan and stuff like that. Like it's high in the area. I remember one time I was um I was with my dad, and we were like up in Pickering or uh, whatever direction that is, and uh, there's like East. a nuclear uh, power plant there, but across the street there's this long bridge that goes straight to like this plaza. I think it's just like a mall. There was like a Sears there, a Zellers or whatever at the time. I was, this is years ago. Mm-hmm. And in my head, I'm just thinking, bro, my dad just casually tells me like, oh, yeah, that's a nuclear uh, power plant, by the way. So I'm like, bro, what if that shit just blows up? What do you mean? Why is it here? <laughs> Should be yeah. in the middle of nowhere, bro, on some Area 51 type shit. Like, why the fuck is it here next to a plaza? 
yeah, if that if that if a nuclear power plant were to explode, like the radiation, it would be like Chernobyl. I don't know how big the radius is for Chernobyl, but that whole place within that two hundred fifty kilometer radius or whatever, mm. I'm making that that whole place is still deadly to this day. Yeah, isn't that kind of crazy how like the people that are in that radius just have to just make do with that radius? Like they can't leave. Mm-hmm. Well, well, there's no people that live there no more. But no, there's there's no people that live there. But like there's um, isn't there like a like a region that's close by that people live in? And like if you go, you can visit there. But if you if you if when you're like when you're trying to leave, if your radius is like um. What am I saying? If the if you're uh radiation still radioactive, you can't you can't come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like quarantine. What's that called? Quarantine. But no, what's that place called though? Oh, the place outside. Yeah, like a, a YouTuber went there and they they had like some trouble trying to leave. Oh, I don't. Ben told me about it. <clears throat> I don't know what the actual place with the actual remember. place. You don't remember? No. Oh. But yeah. Like if a nuclear power plant explodes, yeah, that whole city becomes inhabitable. Inhabitable, like crazy. But yeah, that shit is actually like pretty serious because we were even getting like I think there was also um, like a derailment of like chemicals on a train, and that also like leaked out. I think night. Like, what was it? Um, nitric acid or it was like nitric acid and it was releasing nox which is like this orange this orange um like vapor mm-hmm. and it's poisonous like you'll die Damn. and that guy released off like a highway or something like it's i'm telling you oh, chemicals are crazy yeah i deal with them every day god damn like I've seen Knox before, and that was only one time because the concentration was high. But oh, off the post, but I never actually like did it, and it happened because of what I was doing. <laughs> Yikes! But like you and my boss was telling me, like back in the day, to like blow up toilets, they used to put like nitrates with like um, oxidizers. Why would they and- need to blow up a toilet? I don't know, like pranks or something. I don't know. These are like this. It was like the <laughs> sixties, like or the fifties. I don't know. People. Okay. That's what they did for fun, but like, yeah, they blew that. They used those chemicals to blow them up. But I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I love Montreal, man. Yo, I was I was telling Ali this the other day, or like the last time we uh we went out to get like ramen, like even though we went to Montreal like consecutive years in a row, and some people found it boring or whatever. I felt it was just nice for us boys just to go as like a, a kind of like a road trip, you know. We yep. got an Airbnb, like that one in the in the freaking hotel with the bunk beds. Like I, even though like it had its moments of like stupidity and stuff, like it was that's, sick. It was so sick. Like that's a fond memory. That was fun. Like that was fun. Like I wanted to. I, and it sucks that we didn't get to do that last year. But like, did we go anywhere like, last year? Huh. Did we go? Nah, anywhere? Anywhere. No. Hmm. We should do like we should do something like that again. Maybe a road trip to somewhere else though. Yeah. You see, niggas, they, let's go to Quebec. Quebec. That's long though. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. Let's go to Quebec uh, City. Let's yo, experience fuck. the true racism of Quebec, man. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Oh, let's go. Fuck East. Let's go West. Let's go to. Bro, why? Oh, you want to go to murder capital? Oh, Vancouver. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. We're not staying in Calgary. But like, uh, we're not driving to Vancouver though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. If you if you do like that that road trip is sick apparently because you can, like, you stop <laughs> in different in Canada along the way, bro, bro. I'm I'm just I'm just telling you what I've heard from people. Uh, no, like, I'm I'm down, but I'm not out, I'm not. You check out the Edmonton Mall. You check out Banff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, the Banff Park is sick. What did you say? Can... No, I said we could just fly there. Nah. I am not trying to drive. Okay, listen, Boston. listen, listen. Yeah, that's the whole fun. Listen, it... let's let's rent a couple cars. Okay, 
Actually, no. Nah, let's get no, let's, one let's get, big let's van. Get one big van. Yeah, let's get one big van. Um, and we'll stick to that one big van. And fuck it. Let's just let's just go province to province. Fuck it. We'll we'll rotate drivers. We could all drive. Literally, all of us could drive. No, one of us can't. But like, who can't drive? <laughs> I was making a joke about three. Oh, oh no, like a, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, there's stuff to see in every province, pretty much, except Saskatchewan. Right. Yeah. Nah. One of them. I don't know which one is. Is it Saskatchewan, murder capital, or is it Alberta? Which one is it? Bro? That's that's Calgary. So what 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 province is Calgary in? Uh, Alberta. Alberta. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna skip past that one still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, your Banff National Park is crazy. I yeah. I've heard that, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, let's go, bro. How about this? And then, like, Edmonton Mall has a theme park in the fucking mall? Hear me out, right? I think it's one in Canada. Hear, yeah. hear me out, right? Hear me out. I am not working for four months, and I have a decision to make. I either work part-time for four months, or... We can do this road trip for a month or something. Three weeks. Six That's weeks. The, I don't know if I want to do three weeks of that. Six. <laughs> well, you drop. You have to drop the car off in Vancouver and fly back. No one wants to drive back again. Yeah. True. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those things like you just do for the experience. Yeah. But like, we really need to map out how long we want to be out and about for you know. This is how you start the, uh, you know, uh, this is a nice plot for a, a horror movie, you know. Exactly. Yeah, it is. It's, or, it's amazing, bro. Ben. But we're all niggas, bro, so we're all going to die first. How is yes. that even possible? <laughs> the whole point. You guys can go on. We are not going over this, all right? All right, man. You're going to have no more friends, bro. I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's do I'll, it, man. I'll mourn, man. In September, I'm going to be unemployed. So yes. we'll see. Yes. I mean, I mean, oh no. But yeah, let's do it. Wow. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts. Let's do it, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm big on, like, if you guys ask me to go somewhere, it, it, like, next week, bro, I'm probably down, bro. I'll take we the can... night shifts. I'm very nocturnal. Like I have a hard time sleeping overall, so I'll take the night shifts. You know. Yeah. Back. You know? Or you could just fly out to Cali and uh, explore that state. You see, this is why this Since is Canada's why boring. we never do anything. This is why we never do anything because we have a plan. We all seem very excited to do it, and all of a sudden, you want to bring up California. Shut up. Let's let's oh, just do what we Diego. all. Agree. Let's just do what sounded, what you know, what got us all talking anyway to begin with, bro. Let's just do that. No, Tree doesn't want to go. Yes, San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Doesn't that sound nice, Ben? Look it. Wasn't this your idea? <laughs> this was your idea. <laughs> no, we have to do something that everyone wants to do. Tree's not going to want to do that. Unless we're flying. Tree, listen. You can fly to Calgary no. and then. Calgary. Listen, listen. Oh, just think that, about that. it. You said yeah, what? We fly to Calgary and then drive from Calgary. Oh, oh, oh. oh. bro, they're not gonna rent. A, they're not gonna give us a car. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> they're not gonna give us a car out there. What bro, over there they rent cars to go spin. They go shoot. Right. <laughs> they rent cars to oh, like budget. when they go for their annual uh, huntings of black people, bro. They rent cars and you know scrub it and type shit. That's, you feel me? Like that's nah, not apparently besides the homicide thing, apparently Calgary is actually really nice. Yeah, yeah. but even the, you know, the purge they have over there. What are you talking about? Besides the whole homicide rate thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah, bro. But yo, Toronto's bad too, though. When it comes to homicide, bro. Yeah, you see what's happening on the TTC. The TDC, the the jeweler, the the yeah, fucking, the guy he got murked up in in Bowmanville. Mm. He and his yeah, pregnant I, wife are found dead. Was it in his home? 
Bro. His home. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, uh, who's coming out to Bowmanville to get you, man? Like, yo. This guy did a road trip just to go kill him. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, bro. Tariq, just think about it, right? We rent a car here. We all meet at the airport or something. Or, you know, someone will get a car at the airport, rent it. We move, we start moving, pick up on that. You, know, you feel me? And we just start moving out to Alberta. Nigga, I'll I'll drive the first two yeah. days. I mean, I'll just be in the back. I'll pay gas money. That's fine. And drive. That's perfect. As long as we get a, a healthy rotation, that's all. Mm. Shit, we'll set it up for you. You could only drive once, bro. Like, damn. Uh, I'll drive the last stretch. Sounds good. Let's yeah. do that. Yeah, we'll see. I hate this guy. And then we'll fly back, bro. Like, damn. That actually sounds pretty dope. I'm right? not gonna lie. Bro, but how it's, big it's for the to experience, be. bro. It's not a, like. The the van has to be huge, though. Is it just a guy's thing? Or are you bringing girls? <laughs> Let's just make it a guy's thing, bro. Let's just make it a guy's thing. How'd this guy get out of here? How, what happened to this guy? Whatever. Let's just make it a guy's thing, man. I, can't, I, can't, I keep on bringing this guy's here. Hello, thoughts, concerns, ideas? Yeah. Opinion? Yeah. Bruh. Yeah is not... <clears throat> it sounds good. Sounds good, right? I right, bet. So we locked. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. Money wise, how chatter, much it costs. Bro. Just a bunch of chatters, bro. I know someone that rented a car. Literally uh-huh. yesterday, they rented a car yesterday. I mean, to be fair, it was only for the day, but they rented uh-huh. a car and then um they went up to Pickering. I think it was like I think it was like sixty bucks to rent, and then they just uh-huh. fill up the gas twice. Like that's about it, bro. That's like a solid. 40 50 altogether uh uh-huh. yeah like a solid 110 120 how much one or it was just him like that's one day and like are you telling me like like four to five to six months can't split a fucking suv well we just have to see how expensive it is because it's gonna be that and how we, i don't know how what size bro that's, gonna have... a, that's a soft google search bro like the different size. You're we're worrying probably... about things you can Google, bro. Yeah, Worry about have... the races, bro. Uh, what's it called? That's like my dad's van, something like that. Yeah. Have you seen my dad's? No. Like the ones that like can carry shit in the back. Oh, like the truck. Oh, kind. Oh, of. What am I saying? Um, like the van that like, you can't see out through the back. It's like those ones, those bigger ones. Oh, like the Escalade type. I wouldn't say Escalade type, but it, it could carry a decent amount of stuff in, in the back. Pretty big. Okay. But yeah, we may have to get something like that. And that sounds great, man. I'm, listen, I promise you, whatever you're worried about now is an easy Google search, bro. And plus, this is not something you feel like. What do you want to do then? What do you want to do? I don't know. It's just Do you see so like when you start when when you when you you know push back on the things that niggas are trying to do, you can't you can't like divert it and then say I don't know when you just don't want to do some shit. You can't do that. Well to me it's just because it's just because you don't want to do this. I no, I don't mind you think you 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 don't think Oh no! Are you worried that we're gonna force you to drive or something, bro? No, no, no! It's not that. The the what my interest is is that I don't mind a I don't mind a road trip, but mm. I don't feel anything exciting about going through three provinces just to Five. for our station to be the pro, the the part we want to go to, uh-huh. like. So we want to go to. We're gonna experience called? Banff, Alberta. We're gonna experience Edmonton. Well, yeah, Alberta's Edmonton. Yeah, I, We're I don't mind experience going. at Al- least three high crime rate provinces, bro. At yeah, that's that's scary to me. Okay, but yeah, yeah, like we were before COVID, we were supposed to go to Florida, uh, and or Cali, bro. Like what? Like what are we talking about? What is there to be afraid of, bro? 
I mean, but those are places that I. If anything, been. if anything, there's we were more at risk going to the states because all the, all the, you know, bro, niggas kill niggas, bro, niggas don't be killing. You feel me? They don't be killing no one else but niggas over there, bro. That murder shit. I I, I didn't even know about that. But I just I I'm not interested in going through Manitoba, Saskatchewan, just to get to Alberta, which is <laughs> where we're trying, to, and obviously go to Vancouver. Like, that's like how many days of driving and quite a bit. Yeah, and like the the exciting place that we're going to is at the end of that. Let's driving. think of it like this: it's gonna take us a week to get there. Yeah, and I'm gonna like have maybe to, five. Days. Manitoba. And you're going to drive like a solid three hours of it. That's it. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it's just a lot of driving for... For who? Like, Since when do you care? Of... Since you never cared about us. You've never cared about us. Since when do you care about our well-being? No, I'm not... No, it's not about the actual driving. It's just driving through and seeing that we're driving through places that I don't really want to go through. Which is like boring places like Winnipeg and Saskatchewan, which is all just grass, literally. It's the prairie lands, just to get to the parts where we do want to go to, which is Edmonton and Vancouver, which is all on the west side. Edmonton isn't Edmonton in Saskatchewan. Edmonton's in in Alberta. Edmonton's okay, the cap- that's fine. We're we're skipping over we're skipping over like one province, bro. So what? Two. When up, uh, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Come on, then- come on. Listen, John, Geo- stop smiling and laughing over there, bro. You're the government <laughs> man. I'm sure there's something to do in these provinces that he's hating on, bro. I have to do some research, but I heard you that. Really and that's fun. another thing, Tariq. Your only concern are things that you could easily Google search. But do your <laughs> Googles, man. What the, what are you talking no, about? Do there. I just like. I just. <laughs> Don't care to go <laughs> through those provinces. Like, that's just it. It's the prairie lands. I don't want to travel day in, day in, day out and through the prairie lands. There's no day in, day out. It's going to take us a week to get there. Oh, no, we're going to... we're gonna, Okay, listen. Listen. This is the way I see it, right? We're going we're gonna to go to a province. What's, what's the one next to us? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I don't remember the, oh, the way it goes. I think it's like, yo, we, yo the education. British Columbia <laughs> has failed us, bro. You British said, Columbia and then Alberta, Saskatchewan. I thought Alberta was next Edmund- to us. No. No, it's Edmonton. Oh. Uh, it's Ontario, Manitoba. Oh, my gosh. That, Manitoba. Uh, that. Alberta, British Columbia. Oh, so what you're saying? Okay. So what you're saying is that. It just yep. gets better and better as each day goes by. That's all you're telling me, bro. That's all yeah, you're telling me. I'm not going to be able to get through that. You I'm can't not. get through two days of, of two sketchy provinces, bro? That's not about them being sketchy. It's just, they're just prairie land. That's that's what it is. It's us <sighs> just prairie lands. So how and... about we start in Los Angeles and make our way down to Oakland? Oh, now that is something that's interesting. But then again, I it's not it's not <laughs> it's just it's mostly just grass. Oh my god. You know bro. Los Angeles and we go down to I think it's San Diego and then down to San Francisco and then down to Oakland. Like even driving from freaking California to, to even Las Vegas, like that's more interesting. Or desert but like and or we start or we start in vancouver and then go south what through washington go to oregon you want to go to washington you want to go to seattle no it's seattle seattle's nice what do you know about seattle supersonic all i I know about (laughs) seattle is that they hate their homeless people so they would give them they would buy them bus tickets to either go down to California or to go up to Vancouver. Man, I'm not going to lie. That's my only knowledge of uh, Seattle. Even Seattle sounds more uh, exciting than 
freaking going to Manitoba. Listen, listen. It's like, okay, like how we just started the conversation, just like how this conversation started. It was never about where we were going. It was just about the vibe, which is why we were talking about Montreal to begin with. It was just the vibe, bro. It's literally going to be you, us three, maybe Brandon, and then whoever else wants to come. Like, yes, so it sounds enough. shady, but it's literally going to just be vibes, bro. Men's are just going to be listening to music. We're going to create new memories. We're going to be joking around. That's what it's all about. It's not about the Prairie Lands. It's not even about Banff. It's not about BC and whatever they got going on in Vancouver. It's not about that, bro. It's about the experience. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll possibly even grow our friendship. It'll possibly even, you know, like because, like, bro, things are so boring right now, man. Like, you can't, like, let's be honest, bro. All this shit's boring right now, bro. I mean, you're lying wants- to yourself. You're lying to yourself if you think otherwise. Don wants to know. It's not entirely true, but yeah, it, there is an honesty to it. Don wants to come. What are you talking about, Dom? <laughs> like, go back to sleep, man. Don wants to come. But I would say things are not as fun as they could be right now. But I think that's mostly to the part that we all have our own responsibilities. And exactly. So let's cut ties with that for like a solid month or three weeks. Now let's just vibe out and try some new shit we've never really done before. Okay. I don't know if I can do that for three weeks to a month. A month is crazy. So you so you so you want to drive there for a week and then just fly back after a week of basically just resting? But I mean road like when I go on a road trip, I don't plan to go on a road trip and Stay for three weeks to a month. All right, well, like, I, mean, I don't know, bro. Let's figure this shit out then. That's why we're having the conversation. You know what? Hold on, this is getting kind of long. How about we have this conversation out of the pod because the pod is still going? How about we just end right here? Because right, this, right. is, this is getting kind of long, even this topic alone. Um, yeah, yeah. So, hey, man. Anyway, everybody, <laughs> thank you for listening to the WMAP, the We Matter podcast. Uh, I've been Ben. That's been Tariq. That has been Elijah. Um, what is Brandon doing? Brandon said he wants to go to a viewing, and I feel like he talks in a way to where he he said it like that, so we'd ask, but I didn't really care to ask. No, uh, he told me yesterday. It's kind of a sad uh, topic. Oh, oh, oh! I know what it. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. Oh uh, no, that's not that's not even bring it up at all. I'm so sorry. I've completely forgot. Wow. I'm Wait, starting wow. over. I'm starting over. I can't I can't have that all in, bro. Wow, I feel so fucking bad. Um Nah nah fuck it. Hey man, last words man. Oh, I don't got nothing. What what was with Brandon? What did you guys what'd you say? Bro, I'll tell you when it ends. Just last words, bro. <laughs> draw last words uh plan things in advance um yes i would i would like to say i don't think when i speak sometimes Mm. i'm an idiot and that is my fault i am so sorry um to all part all people actually i I do have something to say i think i'm pretty much the only person this in this and like our friend group that's a hufflepuff that's what i'm realizing a Hufflepuff? Yeah. What's a Hufflepuff? Uh, what did they call it? I think it's it, one of them is. It, 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 wait, you don't know what that, what he means by Hufflepuff though? Like you don't no. know like the origins? No. Oh, it's one of the Harry Potter houses. Oh. Oh, I thought you knew. Oh shit. So what are the four? Slytherin. Slytherin. Uh, Slytherin. Gryffindor. Ravenclaw. Um, Gryffindor. Okay, and then uh oh. Hufflepuff. I've heard that before. Because Brandon's a Gryffindor. Len's a Gryffindor. You're no, a not. Gryffindor. I'm a Ravenclaw. Caca! What are the what are the qualities? <laughs> it's true. I see that. I see that. I don't bro, I am I'm capping. I don't even what are what are the qualities of that shit? Intelligent, creative, witty. It's pretty much like Hermione, pretty much. Oh. Hmm. Kind of sassy. Kind of sassy. 
Yeah, Ben. Okay, why don't, why don't we meet in the middle, Ben? Why don't we start in LA and we make our way down to Miami? Why don't we make our way up to Vancouver? Okay. Wait. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 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 I didn't even hear that. <laughs> Yo, I, I was waiting for us to catch that. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. So from here to here, bro. Yo. That's to the East Coast. I was just talking to us from road here trip. to here. <laughs> just to Yo, 